This is going to be a quick demo on how to do fatigue analysis in time domain with Ashes. Uh, so yeah, I have my model here, which is just a offshore wind turbine mounted on a, on a jacket. And I guess the first thing we can look at is here in the preferences, um, you have you know fatigue tab here with with some some settings that you that you can um, that you can set number of stress points stress concentration factor and yeah, a few more things um, well of course SN curves so you can choose between different SN curves here um, and this I mean th these parameters apply to the whole simulation to the whole model but I'm going to show you also how you can kind of specify for each of your sensors or each of your joints uh, the values that that you want. So yeah, so this is the first place where you kind of would set things. And here you can see, so this is my, my jacket and you can see that the, well, the joints have been highlighted actually in the, the, the joints that I'm analyzing are highlighted in blue. And if I right click on one of them, you can see some information here. So yeah, SCFs, uh, stress concentration factors computed by ashes, according to the, to the NV uh, RPC203. And well, this overrides the one, the one that we just uh, saw before, but, but yeah, so this is, this is pre-computed by Ashes. Again, you can uh, change the value if you want, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, you, you can always see here, you know, you have additional information on how things are computed and yeah, the, the you know, different explanations so, so that you can see here. Um, yeah, and so, well, that's kind of yeah, the, the model that I want. Oh yeah, you can add sensors, of course. Uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm not checking the value on this uh, on this joint, but I can do if I add here. And then again, I, I get sensors for the, the brace and cord side for both elements. And uh, you can also add all the, all the fatigue sensors, you know, to all joints if you wanted, so that you would do here. And, and actually, you can also see the values live. So you know, if you run the if you run one simulation, which is what I'm doing here with you know these uh, long crested irregular waves, then I do get some uh, some some fatigue live for different uh, for the different stress points, and I can see this how this changes live. So you know, this can come in handy to check that everything is correct. Um, before we move on to the to the actual batch run, I'm just going to quickly show how you can change the values individually uh, if you want to, you know, override the, the the computations by ashes. So if you just ex export your uh, your trust tower here, and I can call this trust, for example. Okay, now I'm going to open this file, and we have it here. So I mean, there's other videos explaining what what's in this file, but it's basically just defining the, well, the, the, the beam elements of the trust tower. And if I scroll down, what I see here is how the, how the joint um, fatigue sensors have been defined. And this is where you could specify, you know, different, say, SN curves or stress filters um, and, uh, and so on. And so, yeah, so this is for the sensors and you can also define the, the joints here. And here is where you would change the the SCF if you if you wanted to write your own. Okay, so now we're happy with uh, with how our model looks, and we you know we, we want the data for these sensors. So what we can do now is go to the batch manager and create a new batch, and this is going to be called fatigue fatigue analysis, for example. Okay, and here. So you can always import your own data. If you have like Metocean data or if you have, yeah, if you have your, your, your own data, you can obviously do that. Um, if you have all your load cases defined, I mean, or you can come to the load case generator here and say, well, I want to import the win file. And we have an example here, text file examples, win condition. And uh, yeah, so this is what we're, this, this is the file that I just imported. And now Ashes is going to compute uh, wind and wave conditions based on the, sorry, wave conditions. So HSTP is going to compute that based on the, on the wind speeds. Uh, you can, you know, if you have a look at here, this is how many wind simulations you have, 234 here. You could reduce this, for example, if, you know, instead of having a step of three, you could say four. So you could, you know, 
reduce the number of load cases or increase them. Same here, you know, that's all the, the directions that we have. We can say that we want yeah, half of them. So I just reduce like this, you know, just, well, just, just as an example. And I'll generate the load cases. I want to remove the one that I had here. So click remove existing. And these are all my load cases now. Um, so what's key here is that you have a probability of occurrence, right? And this is the this is the number that's going to be that's going to be used later on in the in the in the fatigue analysis. So yeah, I could run I could I can run my simulation now. So well, it's it's 99, 99 10 minute simulations. Uh, typically, you would have you know much more than that. So it's it would take um, a long time to run. So I think on my computer it would be like several days. Uh, if you have a, a cluster or if you run the, the simulations on the cloud, obviously it goes faster. But here the idea is that once this, uh, all these simulations are finished, uh, Ashes is going to run the ring flow counting algorithm and based on the SN curves that you've specified, it's going to produce a report with the fatigue life of your structure. I already have a, a report ready to show. So this is yeah, th this is just the this is just a summary of, of the, the the simulation. So you know in this case, well, the the, the fatigue on, on on each of the sensors that you've defined is um, is sorted from the shortest to the longest. So here you can see that well you know 17 years. So you might want to to have a look at uh, at what's going on here. Um, but yeah, so here you have the data on all your sensors, and you can also see for each sensor, what is the what is the uh, load case that is producing the highest damage. So, you know, here, for example, for this uh, for, for this sensor and for this stress point, you see that the highest damage was produced by this uh, by this load case with you know, how much it contributed to the to the fatigue damage. Cool. So that's all for this video. I hope that this makes sense. Otherwise, don't hesitate to get in touch and uh, and yeah, let us know if if you if you have any questions. See you around.